Hi, I'm Taylor, and this is McKenna, and we're from the Friends of the Sur Sloop Refuges, which is a group here in Minot that gets people in the community out into the local refuge refuges around Minot, North Dakota. Today, we're going to show you how to make a salt dough ornament. So first, we're going to take our flour mixture, and we're going to pour it into a bowl. And then we're going to take our salt mixture and pour that into the bowl too. And now we'll add our half cup of warm water. And we'll use a spoon to mix it all up. Mm. So for our group, depending on what season it is, we like to get out into nature and do different things. In the summer, we like to go kayaking out on the river. We also like to go for nature hikes. And then in the winter, we like to go snowshoeing. Um, have a parent follow us on Facebook at Friends of Service Loop Refuges and we'll let you know when we decide to have dates to go snowshoeing. Right now we have to wait till we have some snow on the ground since it's been so warm out. So McKenna is kneading her dough right now and she's going to keep working it with her hands till it's all mixed up really well. And then when she thinks it's good, she's going to split it in half. and she's going to make a ball with the dough. So you can do this first method, which is rolling it with your hands, but if you're having trouble with that, you can use a cup. So she's gonna place it on the baking sheet and just move her cup in circles and make a ball. Perfect. So now she's going to take her cup again and she's going to roll it flat. So we want it to be really even so that way it bakes easily too. So now McKenna's going to check to see if her hand is going to fit on her dough and it looks like it will. So she's going to use a, make a handprint, but you can do whatever you'd like for your ornament. And now she's going to put a little circle at the top with her pencil so that way we can loop string through it and hang it on our tree after it's baked. So now with the help of an adult, you can put this in the oven and have it bake for the recommended time according to your sheet and then we'll take it out of the oven after it's done and let it cool completely, and then you can paint it with the paints that were provided. So there's the extra dough over here too, and if you wanna make a different ornament or anything fun out of that, you sure can. Thank you. Thank you.